ChatGPT may have been the first AI tool to hit the scene, but that doesn't mean it's still at the top of the food chain. Today, we're putting it head to head with one of the biggest ChatGPT alternatives, Brightsonic, to see which one is the best for marketing and whether it lives up to the hype. Hey everyone, welcome back to AI Marketing and Creator Tools. To our surprise, Writesonic's been voted the number one AI writing tool for three years in a row by TechRadar, beating out other popular AI tools like ChatGPT, Jasper, and Copy AI. To see if the ratings were true, we compared Writesonic to its top competitors on things like how good the responses were, how easy it was to use the platform, and most importantly, if it's worth the price. Let's start with how easy they are to use. We've been using ChatGPT since it launched, so it's only fair we had everyone on our team use WriteSonic for the last three months. When we compare ChatGPT and WriteSonic on ease of use, we think of ChatGPT as a first draft and WriteSonic as the final product. Let me explain. ChatGPT is an incredibly powerful language model, but from our experience, you need to test and modify your prompts a few times before getting exactly what you want, and the results aren't always consistent. AI is supposed to make things easier, so it's frustrating when you're having to write intricate prompts and it becomes a whole ordeal, but WriteSonic's templates are already super tailored and intuitive, which makes it easier to get started. We'll see how the results turn out. Right Sonic actually uses ChatGPT as part of its underlying technology, so you're still getting the same high quality output just with a more user friendly interface and way less editing. Right Sonic also has their own AI chatbot called ChatSonic, which looks and feels just like ChatGPT. But after you've written your prompt, you can use the Enhance button to make your prompt more specific. According to the reviews on the peer to peer software review site G2, Right Sonic is the easier to use option mainly because of this next feature. And after hours of using it, we'd have to agree. Their templates work kind of like Mad Lips. You just fill in the blanks and it cranks out solid copy. Right Sonic has over 200 templates to choose from, and it can do anything from writing full length blogs in seconds to creating a complete social media plan from start to finish. The important thing to know is that templates make it easier to tell AI what you're trying to do. But even if Right Sonic is ultimately easier to use, does the quality of the results make it worth the time you save? Just so we're on the same page here, our definition of quality results is how much editing your AI generation requires. So better results require minimal editing and rewriting. We gave both ChatGPT and ChatSonic this extremely detailed prompt, asking each to write a comprehensive review of the best AI writing tool on the market with the goal of educating and inspiring readers. And hey, I gotta give credit to both of them for being so humble. I also wanna point out that we're only using ChatSonic here, but WriteSonic does have a specific tool made for article writing, which we'll cover in just a second. For the most part, we preferred ChatGPT's generation here because it was way more detailed than provided answers in comprehensive paragraph format and used expressive language. Whereas WriteSonic used pretty generic wording and mostly bullet points, basically the bare bones. This is actually really surprising because WriteSonic is using ChatGPT to come up with responses, so I thought they would be pretty close. But it's important to point out that ChatGPT was trying a little too hard to be humble because it didn't actually list the name of a specific tool like we asked it to. So in this case, I'd have to go back and ask it to rewrite the review with an actual AI tool in mind. For a while, WriteSonic and other AI tools offered something ChatGPT couldn't up-to-date information. This is no longer the case because since September of this year, ChatGPT is capable of accessing the internet. No more dreaded September 2021 cutoff message. The internet is pretty divided on which one produces better outputs and for good reason. No two people are looking for the exact same thing. If you're interested in seeing more AI platform comparison videos, check out this playlist on our channel and give this video a thumbs up. So what about the features? ChatGPT offers a bunch of features for its paying members who spend 20 bucks a month for ChatGPT+. This includes things like plugins, which connect ChatGPT to third-party apps and its popular AI art generator, Dolly 3. Plugins are particularly useful in our workflow because they're incredibly helpful for more specific tasks. For example, there are plugins for optimizing SEO, creating artwork, writing resumes, and even translating languages. But the sheer number of plugins is super overwhelming, which is why we made a video on our favorite ones for businesses and marketing. Make sure to check it out and subscribe to our channel. In comparison, WriteSonic doesn't have nearly as many extensions, but it does have a handful of tools for specific needs. For example, their AI article writer makes it easy to write competitive SEO optimized articles by pulling inspiration from articles online. This is their bread and butter feature, and we think it's a better option than ChatSonic. So start by coming up with the title of your article, and WriteSonic will search the internet for relevant articles, or you can come up with the links for articles you found on your own and copy and paste them. WriteSonic will use them as references for your 
own article, so it'll have all the information it needs, but will still give you original content. And if you want your articles to sound less like AI and more like you, the Brand Voice tool learns your writing style to create outputs that sound exactly like you. Just upload some of your old writings and tell WriteSonic a little bit about yourself. It'll actually save those instructions for its future responses. If you've used Jasper AI before, you're familiar with this feature, but this is something that ChatGPT doesn't offer. So to answer the question of whether or not WriteSonic can go undetected, yep, it's like your younger sibling who echoed everything you said because they thought you were cool. I was the younger sibling. And lastly, we have what might be WriteSonic's coolest feature, AudioSonic. One of the most popular AI use cases is AI voiceovers. We've seen tons of platforms offer this, but most sound pretty robotic. With AudioSonic, the quality of voiceovers are definitely an improvement. Take a listen for yourself. When it comes to comparing WriteSonic versus ChatGPT, think of ChatGPT as a first draft. If you need to pay for extra voiceover minutes, it's about 10 bucks per 40 minutes of audio, which is way cheaper than hiring a voiceover artist. Our full WriteSonic tutorial is coming soon, and it includes some of our favorite features, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Even though ChatGPT has more features, we think that WriteSonic's tools are more curated, higher quality, and there's a better chance you'll actually use them. Plus, it's easier to find out what you're looking for when there aren't 10 million plugins to scroll through. Speaking of 10 million, all these features can be yours for just 10 easy payments of $1 million, not including shipping and handling. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you were paying attention, but seriously, let's talk price. When it comes to pricing, ChatGPT has both a free and a paid plan. The free plan doesn't offer any of the features I mentioned earlier, like plugins or AI art, but you can generate an unlimited number of words. You can sign up for ChatGPT Plus for 20 bucks a month to access more features, but this might not be ideal if you don't use it super often. In that case, I'd recommend using an always free tool like Google Bard. WriteSonic has one of the best free for life plans on the market with 10,000 words per month, and you get access to all of their core features with the exception of a limited capacity of brand voice tools. We'll leave a chart on the screen so you can see what each plan has to offer. If you're having a hard time deciding, we recommend trying the free versions of both tools for a week and using them for similar tasks so you can see which one you prefer. So our final thoughts? Well, WriteSonic's AI article writer is one of the best writing tools we've seen, and it probably has the best value of all paid AI tools. If you want to see it for yourself, sign up for WriteSonic using the affiliate link in the description. One bummer about WriteSonic is that you can't use features like ChatGPT Vision or plugins, even though it's the platform that's generating your responses. But hey, we've got a video on ChatGPT Vision coming out soon, and if you don't want to miss it, subscribe and hit the bell. So is WriteSonic better than ChatGPT? for brands and marketing? Well, for 15 bucks, I definitely feel like I'm getting my money's worth from it. After all, I don't need all the plugins ChatGPT charges for. At the end of the day, choosing the right AI writing tool is kind of like deciding between streaming services. Do I add the HBO package to Hulu or should I switch to Disney Plus? Oh God, my favorite show just switched to Peacock. Maybe I should just go back to torrenting? But at the end of the day, we are here to help you decide. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you next time.